Hey guys, it's Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna show you another city in Georgia, the city of Batumi. I'm gonna talk a bit about my experience in the city, what I liked about it, and I'm also gonna to talk to you a bit about real estate in Batumi as well. Oh, guys, so five hour train ride, but we made it to Batumi. It's been a long day for me, I'm very tired. We'll get back at it tomorrow. See ya. Good morning, good morning. So first day in Batumi. So plan today is kind of enjoy all of the the natural spots like the beach and the parks because today is supposed to be the sunniest day that i'm going to be here uh, i looked at the weather and it's looking cloudy and even rainy uh, at times over the next couple of days so i thought today i would get all of the um, you know the good weather activities uh, out the way enjoy it while i have it uh, and then you know over the next few days if the weather's not so good then probably go like to the malls and other stuff and whatnot so that's the plan for today let's go check it out So I'm on a cable car ride. I actually got the whole got the whole car to myself. You can see the background, the city of Batumi. The high-rise buildings and, and new constructions that are underway as well. You can see that as well from, from the cable car. And you can see pretty much the whole city from up here. So Batumi is on the west coast of Georgia towards the south and only about 20 kilometers from the border with Turkey. As I showed you in my previous video, I took a train from Tbilisi which took about five and a half hours to get there. But you can also fly to Batumi from a number of destinations as well, which I'll talk a little bit about towards the end of the video. Being on the coast, obviously one of the key attractions that Batumi has is the Black Sea and the beaches and the beach promenade that go alongside it. The atmosphere and the vibe by day was very laid back, very fun. People were clearly having a good time and enjoying the sunshine. Hi guys, so I just finished going for a stroll near the beach there, which is really, really nice. Now that whole stretch is probably about four or five kilometers, but you've got a bike lane going up the whole thing and you've got, yes, you guessed it, my favorite, electric scooters. So I uh, just took an e-scooter and I was riding up and down. That's actually how I got to the cable car because it's quite far up. Um, really affordable, the e-scooters as well, really good. Uh, so yeah, definitely enjoyed that. Uh, I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go back to the apartment, drop off my stuff, charge my camera because I ran out, that's why I'm on the iPhone now. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to the beach this afternoon uh, and we'll go out in the evening and see how things are in Batumi at night. So, see you then. But whilst Batumi is a fun place during the day, at night is when the city undergoes a complete transformation and really comes alive. Alright guys, so I'm on Batumi Boulevard and as you can probably hear and tell, the city just comes alive at night. I think this is like Batumi Music Festival in the background, that's why there's all the music. It's like a free, there's like a stage, people dancing and everything. You can see all the buildings are lit up. Got the big wheel behind me as well. Man, like Batumi is nice in the daytime but at night, well, something else. What's up guys, uh, second full day in Batumi now, so it's about 2pm, 
just going to get some, probably going to get some lunch now. Just going for a walk around. Don't really have any specific plans. Today I went for a run at the beach earlier in the morning um, whilst the sun was out. Because supposedly, according to um, Apple weather, today is not going to be a day of good weather. And it's, supposed to, uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit. Up to now, the predictions of Google weather have not come true. The sun was out about a minute ago. But if we look over there, over the sea, you can see some black clouds. And I think that's probably the rain that may be to come that Google is referencing. We'll see how it goes anyway. And look at that. Look at the rain. <laughs> Crazy. Literally 10 minutes ago, it was bright and sunny. And now, <laughs> now it's just pouring. So, <laughs> let's see. What, probably now I'm going to go get a raincoat and then um, go to one of the malls probably. <laughs> so, here we go. Unfortunately, the rain that you're seeing right now was generally the weather over the remaining days. But I was determined to get the most out of my stay in Matumi and make it an informative, productive and interesting visit. Okay guys, so about 7.15 p.m. now. Um, as you can see, the rain has finally stopped. Um, you look along the promenade, you know, and along the beach, you know, you'll see there's barely anyone there. Not surprising, of course, because it was really heavily chucking it down uh, when it was raining earlier. So I, I did take that opportunity to do a little bit of admin, but also some real estate investment research. So I went to a couple of kiosks that are kind of along the boulevard here. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of real estate investment projects going on here in Batumi. A lot of high-rise buildings, a lot of luxury apartment style buildings being built as well. So yeah, got some information about a couple of projects where you know, you're know you essentially either buying a hotel room or a studio within a hotel complex, uh, or you can buy you know studio apartments, one or two bedroom apartments, um, and then you, know, you can either live in them yourself or, or rent them out. But for one of these projects, gross ROI that I was quoted was about 10 to 12% return on investment and the capital required for some of those investments are not very high you know starting at fifty thousand um, dollars in some cases and the real estate prices here are still very affordable i was quoted one thousand seven hundred dollars per meter square for one of the projects as well and i think for one of the other ones it was around the two thousand uh, dollar per meter squared so very affordable some interesting returns so i think once all these new constructions are complete if Batumi continues to attract uh, the level of tourism that i've seen this summer uh, you know not just from eastern europe but from from perhaps further away as well um, even bringing people from Western Europe across then who knows this could be a really interesting investment the two projects I'm referring to here is one by Wyndham residences and the other one is a project called seventh heaven residence and these are just two of many new build projects that are available there was no shortage of them tons of buildings being built around the city and more cabins along the seafront where you can go in and find more information. What crossed my mind as well is that there are also perhaps opportunities on older properties in Georgia. And by taking a look on home.ge, which is a popular real estate portal in Georgia, an interesting observation I made was that though some of these new properties were priced quite affordably or quite low, the price by meter squared was much higher than in comparison to some of these older apartments, which in contrast have a lower price per meter squared but generally the overall price is larger because the surface area or the size of the property is a lot bigger than some of these new properties that are being built. As I stayed in an Airbnb, which was essentially a renovated apartment within a luxury uh, building, I thought I'd give you a quick tour so you can see what kind of apartments we're talking about here. Wow, check out the Airbnb I've got. Look at this space. So nice, nice and modern. Got a little kitchen, the, the living area here, the sofa and the TV. But that's not all. Check out the view. That. My goodness. What a view. What a view. So cool, man. Seriously. Wow. And then here's my, my little bed where I'm, where I'm going to sleep at night. Now I'd seen photos of Batumi on the internet. It looked cool, but I did not expect that. Yep. Day three and it's raining again. Look at that. Now the rain situation didn't really improve over the last few days. And beyond going to the gym and going to some of the shopping centers, I kind of got to a point where I ran out of things to do. So now you've been around the city, you know a little bit about the real estate. Let me leave you with my overall opinion of Batumi. So this is the end of the trip. I'm in the airport lounge now um, in Batumi, just uh, relaxing for a bit before the flight. Because the weather was so bad, um, I, just, I ran out of things to do and I decided to come to the airport early and, and spend the time in the lounge. So here I am. Overall, I think, yeah, Batumi is a really interesting city, as I say. 
really fun place at night. Um, the beach is really nice during the day as well. And when the sun's out, you know, it's a really nice vibe. Obviously as well, there's a lot of like the real estate construction that's going on and all the buildings and development that's going on. And there's clearly potential here in the future. As that when the weather is bad through the day, there's, there's not too much to do. There's a couple of shopping malls and that you can't find like anywhere else, to be honest. And also just being here in the airport, like the airport I've realized is, is really small. There's not that many flights going in and out. And they're all pretty much like regional or close destinations, like to Tbilisi, to, to um, neighboring countries. There's a flight to Tel Aviv. There's flights to Iran, a lot of flights going to Russia, to Belarus. As I say, I think there's potential. There's definitely potential in between me. Um, you know, it could be a really attractive city in the future. Bit of a way to go yet. Anyways, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on it and uh, enjoying my time here. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed following this vlog series as well. So leave a comment and let me know what do you think about between me after seeing this video. Till next time, I'll see you on the next one. And let's get this money.